Hello and welcome. Today I'm here to tell you about how to do a Google Hangout. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is have a Gmail account. If you don't, need, if you don't have one, you need to go ahead and sign up for a free account. Um, once you do, just get logged in. And there's a couple of different ways that we can access Hangout. So I'm going to point out to you just three easy ways to get there. So the simplest thing is from your Gmail, right here on the left-hand side, you can actually start typing in names and it will allow you to instantly connect with the people in your contact list um, to have a Google Hangout. Next, another way to get there is to click on the plus in front of your name here. That's going to take you to your Google Plus page. I also want to point out that this app section will get you there as well. So any way that you choose to do it, I'm going to go ahead and show you through the Google Plus page just so you'll be familiar with all the different ways to get there. So here you can see my Google Plus page as it loads, and you'll notice that Hangouts on the right hand side. These are people that I've hung out with recently, so you can see that list there. Um, and then again, just type in the name of the people that you want to hang out with and um, click Get Started. So I'm going to start one down here without anyone in it, just as a demo. So here we go. Um, we are now in a Google Hangout. So again, I can share this with others. Now, as a teacher, I wanted to talk to you about some different ways that I've used this in the past. Um, the great thing is that you connect with other classes and they can see each other. But in addition to that, you can also do a screen share. So this is very powerful. For example, if you want the kids, uh, let's say you have an interactive whiteboard and you want them to uh, do math word problems together, you can actually hang out with another class from um, across the country and do a collaborative lesson. So that's very cool. Um, in addition to that, let's, let's go over to some basic setup things. So I want you to be able to see who I am, especially if we have two classes here. So I'm gonna open the Hangout Toolbox and I'm gonna click on the little icon that looks like a person. And now you can see um, right here, I've got my name there. I actually wanna turn that on. Now I have added the name on there. So you can take that off or add it and notice it puts your profile picture from um, Google Plus. All right, um, in addition to that, you can add Google Effects, and these are really cool with kids. I think these are neat to use for positive behavior. Um, even if you don't have another class that you're chatting with that day, you could actually just open this up, especially at the end of the day, and um, use this as a reward for kids. So you could have the student that gets the behavior uh, to come up and use it as a photo booth. So they can pick out which silly things that they would like to add, and um, then you could actually have you could take a picture of these, you could put them on the class website. Um, so that's a way that you could share them with parents. But again, you can add multiple things and get really silly with it. So gorgeous right there. Uh, I also want to point out that you can randomize. So down here, if you'll click this little slot machine like button, it's going to randomize the effects. So again, another great motivation and prize tool that you could use with your kids. Um, they're also just kind of fun if you want to use them while you're doing a, a, a video chat with another class. And notice I clicked remove all effects to get rid of those. Um, other things that you can do, you can take pictures while you're in here. And so if you just hit that camera button one time, it will capture and give you screenshots. So this is really cool. So you can document what you're doing with the other classes. And again, share those out. If you have a class Facebook page um, or a Twitter account, or just the, the website, you can add those to it. Also open up things like Google Drive. So here I've clicked on this icon for Drive and you can see I have a document that I can actually edit in real time and the other participants in the chat um, can do this as well. And so these are actually some of my notes from class and these are collaborative notes that I took um, with a friend of mine. Now I'm going to add some of these to our chat. So I've searched for Steve Spangler Science Experiments click on the little plus. Here we go. So now both classes are going to be watching this at the same time. So again, this is really neat because both classes are seeing the same thing at the same time and then can react to it. So that's a lot of fun. Symphonical. This is really cool. I've used this one um, personally to coordinate with, with other groups and to try to make projects happen. But um, this is also just my personal wall here of things that I need to do. So you can create post-it notes 
and then um, select their priority. You can move them around, you can assign them to different people, and um, everyone in the group can do this together in the Google Hangout while you're still talking and you've got your video down here and the other people's um, images would show up down in this bottom right hand corner. So it's very, very cool. It's a great feature. So that's Symphonical. Next, I'd like to show you the Google Art Project. So we start with this page here where it shows you can search for individual artists or you can look through their collections. So thinking about how to use this in the classroom, I mean, you can just look through some of these artifacts, um, tie this into social studies, so some great things there. Last thing I'd like to talk to you about are the games that are included. So here's Warlight and then here's Sporacle. So this could, again, be a positive behavior thing that you um, act Last, I'd like to show you Keiku. This is a really neat feature because you can actually insert graphic organizers and diagrams and then have these interactive. So mind maps, flowcharts, excellent tool as well.